Bardier letting go of hundreds of its workers. The cuts in the air capital totaling more than 20% of Bombardier's local workforce. That's our big story today. The company announcing those layoffs this morning. Let's get right out live to Cakes Aviation reporter Chris Frank tracking the story outside Learjet's West Wichita plant. Chris. Good evening, Susan and Chris. When you talk about one in four workers being cut here today, that's huge. 620 Bombardier Learjet employees laid off today. Uh, yeah, I got laid off and I'm going back to work right now. This unidentified Learjet worker got his layoff notice, but says he immediately found another job. Others might not be so fortunate to find other employment so quickly. Bombardier is cutting 1,000 jobs altogether, 620 in Wichita, the rest at a Mexico facility. Locally, workers started being notified and processed before 8 o'clock this morning and then started leaving the plant with most not wanting to stop and talk about it. What's behind the layoffs is this. Bombardier is, in their words, pausing the Learjet 85 program. How long it will be halted is not known. Bombardier CEO says there is a weak demand for the Learjet 85 aircraft and says there is continued weakness in the light aircraft market category that the 85 is in. Now, I've been hearing of problems with the program for well over a year. The Lear 85's maiden flight was just last April from Wichita. But the plane is well behind schedule. It was announced in 2008, and deliveries were expected in 2013. So until deliveries are made, the plane in its test program is costing the company. And with Bombardier also trying to get its airliner, the C-Series, to market, well, the company is strapped for cash. So hence, pausing the 85 program and laying off workers. So besides the 620 uh, job losses here, there were 380 or so at uh, the Mexico facility where those Lear 85 fuselages are made. Bombardier stock taking a huge hit on this announcement today. We're live in West Wichita. Chris Frank, Cake News. All right, thanks a lot, Chris. Of course, community leaders scrambling for more details from Bombardier about the pause in the project, saying it is definitely bad news. Cakes, Deb Ferris continues our team coverage now live in West Wichita with reaction. Deb? Yeah, Chris, anytime there is word of major layoffs like these here at Bombardier, it is not good news for the community. Tonight, the mayor and the Chamber of Commerce are trying to determine how long the pause in the project will last and just how this will affect the economy. Mayor Carl Brewer saying this afternoon, Bombardier called him last night saying an announcement was coming today. He calls the news disturbing. You know, we do know that there are some particular companies in this industry that are ramping up. And so we'll meet with those companies and we'll say, how many employees can you take? And we'll try to intervene and try to negotiate those and get those individuals to work. In 2011, the city and county each gave Bombardier a million dollars to expand its parking lots. The city says Bombardier did uphold its end of the deal by creating new jobs. We'll have much more on that coming up tonight on Cake News at 6. We are live in West Wichita. Deb Ferris, Cake News. Okay, thanks, Deb. Digging a little deeper now is back in 2010, Bombardier and the state entered into a multi million dollar agreement along with the city of Wichita. Now, Kansas agreed to give them $27 million in bond financing for investments in plant improvements, and Bombardier would invest. 600 million and add 600 jobs for the Learjet 85 program. Stay with Cake News for continuing coverage of the Bombardier layoffs. Watch for updates on later Cake newscasts and look for updated information on our web channel, cake.com.